Todd, let's talk about application methods. Um, you know, what we're looking at here on this deck is what we consider is probably about a five or six and 12. And with what we would consider just a standard slope, right? Um, so when we're installing this product, typically what we're looking for is one layer of synthetic, as we're shown here. Um, you could go ultra premium here. You could do full ice and water using like our PSU 30 um, on the entire deck surface. It would be totally acceptable. Um, and now when it comes to low slope application, and in our world, low slope is anything from two and 12 to less than four and 12, we have some different options. So you could use two layers of synthetic in a half lap fashion, um, which is commonly referred to as double felt application or double underlayment application. Um, and again, you could use a self adhere like our PSU 30 on the entire deck surface, uh, being careful to make sure you're ventilating it properly uh, when you're doing that. But as it relates to um, metal, and so now standard slope and low slope, but low slope is probably a lot different in your world. Right. Could you kind of talk about those underlayment applications and accepted methods? Sure, absolutely. So for us, generally low slope is considered anything under 312 is where we consider low slope. And similar things, beefier underlayment is certainly a good idea. The, the PSU 30 is a fantastic product for those applications. Um, doubling up a couple layers of synthetic could be acceptable too, but I would certainly prefer to see the self-adhering product. So as far as the general application process, um, you certainly want to make sure you start with a clean deck. Uh, make sure you don't have debris up there or anything that's going to interfere with the underlayment application. We also want to make sure before we start applying the product that if we've gotten any punctures or tears in the underlayment, that we seal over those with a new piece of underlayment that's properly applied, tucked up in the next, up under the next highest course of underlayment as well. Now, as far as, you know, the choice between full synthetic or full self-adhering, or maybe a combination of the two, a lot of that comes down to the roofing contractor and what they really prefer as far as how they position their company in terms of the quality and the practices that they want to do and perhaps the warranty that they offer as well. I know that our company is a manufacturer. We talk a lot about recommending picture framing with the self-adhering product. So you would use the PSU 30 on all the eaves, you would use it up the valleys, you would use it up your sidewall intersections, you would use it down along uh, any dormers. Um, you would also use it up the gable. So it gives that picture frame effect with the self-adhering on all those outer edges and then standard synthetic on the rest. And one of the things we really like about that, most of today's metal roof systems have really been designed well so that the field panels are extremely watertight, you know, where you can sometimes have difficulties and maybe it's only during that worst torrential rain that happens every 30 years, although Seems like sometimes we're seeing more of those. Um, but you know, those would typically be around those edges or the perimeter of the roof, those flashing details where you might have a flashing detail that does bleed water during that horrible rain. So we love the idea of self-adhering in those areas. Give us a little extra protection, a little extra beefiness in those critical areas, and then just utilize a standard synthetic over the field of the roof. Perfect, hey, thanks again. Sure.